So um, in this video, I just want to talk about the difference between Atoll-like categories versus Frobenius-like. So Atoll-like versus, let's say, let's say, uh, uh, Crystal-like slash Frobenius-like. Okay, according to Machizuki. According to Machizuki, there's some dichotomy between these. So the, the basic idea is that uh, Atoll-like things, um, so they, this, this means that they don't care about orderings. So by orderings, I literally mean orderings like, you know, like less than or equal to, you know, the, you know the, this transitive property, etc. So like partial orderings. Okay. And so uh, Frobenius like is saying that they, they, they are affected by orderings. So Okay, so these things are, so let me, let me just kind of like draw what an Atoll-like, so this is about categories, okay, so an Atoll-like category, a Frobenius-like category. Um, so uh, here, let me just say that they're like, these are like loopy, loopy things. Um, so a category with one object where all the morphisms are invertible, that's a group, that's going to be something that's Atoll-like. And then these things are going to be... Uh, just kind of like rigid, rigid guys. Um, so, so here, okay. So these are like uh, uh, like posets, and these are like groups. Okay, so this is vague, and I really don't like all these things. So I'm gonna kind of give a, a more precise definition of what an atoll-like category is. Okay, um, so let me let me give some definitions. So. so a morphism uh, alpha in a category C is irreducible if whenever we can uh, compose it, write it as the composition of two things, then this implies that beta is an isomorphism or gamma is an isomorphism. So this is just like, you know, like, this is the same thing as if we were going to do, um, you know, just kind of like these, or like, what was it, what do I want to say? Um, this is like if, uh, like, like you do for rings, okay, for commutative rings. Okay, so, um, and that's one definition. Uh, second definition. Okay, so a morphism uh, so beta from B to A uh, has pre pullbacks. Um, so this is a non-standard terminology. Uh, so, so this is this is also called FFSM. So this is a uh, fiberwise uh, surjective morphism. If and only if. Um, so for all gamma from uh, C to A. We have a diagram like this. Okay, and now I'm going to write the diagram. So we had this map B to A, beta. Okay, and then I said if we had one of these guys, gammas, well, what happens is we'll, 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 we'll get this D here, okay, and these two morphisms such that this diagram can use. Okay, so this is what, what's called a, uh, we'll, we'll say that this mor a morphism in a category has pre pullbacks. If whenever you have a morphism here, you get one of these diagrams. Okay, so now that I have these two setups, I can say what an atoll-like category is. Okay, so finally, definition. So a category D is atoll-like 
if and only if, okay, two conditions are satisfied. Uh, so for all morphisms, B uh, in D, all B morphisms in D, um, so if B has pre-pullbacks, So like whenever I get a morphism down, like so whenever I whenever I have one of these, okay. So this has, whenever I have this map here, whenever this is kind of like a fiber diagram, I can find a D that kind of looks like a pullback, but it's you know, okay. And beta is not an isomorphism. Then this implies that uh, B beta factors into a finite number uh, number of morphisms with pre-pullbacks uh, uh, which are irreducible. Okay, so it's kind of a factorization theorem. So. Um, if we we know that it it, it has pre-pullbacks and we know that uh, that we're gonna we're gonna do this okay uh, with pre-pullbacks and which is irreducible okay so um, that's what I wanted to say and then B uh, the the thing that says is that uh, so it says for all a in the category uh, there exists some natural number such that every chain. Of a um, of, of pre pullback uh, what do I want to call it? Uh, pre pullbackable. Okay, so like when when uh, this thing let's say we're saying okay, so this will be pre pullbackable has pre pullbacks. Okay, every chain of pre-pullbackable morphisms uh, pre-pullbackable irreducible morphisms starting at A has length less than N. Okay, so you can't just like have these infinite length things if A is here. You can't have this infinite length things of, of where all these are all irreducible. Eventually, something's got to give uh, uh, for these pre bull packable things. Okay, so this I guess will force it to be uh, swirly like in the original picture here. Um, all right, and, and that's, that's all I wanted to say in this video. Um, thanks for watching.